Have you ever wondered how to create a fan type or other unique ceiling in Sketch? In this training, you will learn the steps to create a fan ceiling through a combination of subgrouped rooms. The first step is to figure out how many fan wedges there are. In this example, there are eight. Once you know how many wedges there are, determine the angle at the peak by dividing 360 degrees by the number of wedges. That gives us 45 degrees. To start, use the vertex to convert a room into a triangle with that angle. Often we'll also need to adjust the other angles as well. Once the angles are correct, dimension the room as needed. Then, copy and paste it to the cursor. Use the tab key to rotate and attach additional wedges until the fan is complete. If you're doing a full fan, the last wedge will need to be created by control click and dragging one of the walls of the adjoining wedges, as Xactimate will not allow a room to be joined to multiple odd-shaped rooms. Once all the wedges are in place, use the missing wall tool to remove interior walls. Subgroup the segments together. You can also remove the room labels to make it easier to work with. Change the ceiling type property to sloped and use the orientation tool to orient the slopes from the outer wall toward the middle. And that's it. Turn on ceiling surfaces from the view menu to see the fan ceiling in 3D.